My name is Cheryl and I'm the PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Meet Simple. In this video, I will be analysing a past year examination question on the topic of fungi and bacteria. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 5. Tracy wanted to slow down the growth of mold on her slice of cake. Which of the following would be the best way to keep her slice of cake? Before going to the options, I would like you to recall first. What do you think allows mold to grow? There are three conditions that mold requires to grow. Can you remember what are these three conditions? You can easily remember it by... Wow! What does wow stand for? Wow stands for... Water, oxygen, and warmth. So this means that in order for mold to grow, it would require water, oxygen, and warmth. So if Tracy wanted to slow down the growth of mold, do you think she wants these three conditions to be present? Of course not. So what do you think is the best way to keep her cake? The best way to keep her cake is when these three conditions are present or absent. It is when these three conditions are absent. Let's take a look at the setup in the first option to see whether the wow conditions are present. The first W is water. Does this setup has water? Yes, you can see that this setup has water, correct? So water is present. What about the second condition? Oh, oxygen. If you take a look at the setup, there is a lead to prevent air from entering. And because of this, Many students would always think that because there's a lead to prevent air from entering, this means that there's no oxygen in the container. But is that really true? Yes, I agree that air is not able to enter the container. But my question is, is there air present in the container at the very beginning? There is, correct? So actually, oxygen is present in this setup. Let's look at the last condition. The last one is about warmth. Look at where the setup is placed. The setup is placed in the refrigerator. And if you open the refrigerator and stick your head inside, how do you feel? You feel cold, right? So what does this suggest to you? Since the refrigerator is cold, this means that it does not have warmth. And this would mean that the setup in option 1 has two out of the three conditions needed for mold to grow. Let's take a look at the setup in the second option to figure out whether the wild conditions are present there. The first one, water. Is water present in setup B? You would realize that in setup A, you see water earlier, but in this setup, the water has been replaced by a substance that absorbs moisture. And in primary school, we can take moisture as water. Since there is a substance that absorbs moisture in setup B, do you think the first condition is present for more to grow? No. What about the second condition, oxygen? Similarly, in setup B, you will realize that there is a lead to prevent air from entering as well. But remember what we mentioned earlier? Is there air already present in the container? Yes, so that's why oxygen is present. What about warmth? For this setup, where is it being placed? It is placed on the kitchen table. Now, a kitchen table, would you consider this warm or cold as compared to the refrigerator earlier? Kitchen table is considered warm. So this means that the third condition needed for mold to grow is present. And setup B has two out of three of the conditions needed for mold to grow. Let's examine option three to see whether the wow conditions are present there as well. The first condition is water. Is water present in setup C? Yes. What about oxygen? For setup C, you realize that there's no lead. And with no lead, this means that what is able to enter the container? Air is able to enter the container. With air now able to enter the container, this means that the mold on the cake would have access to more air. And now with more oxygen, actually the mold can grow better. So oxygen is present in this setup as well. What about warmth? Take a look at where this setup is placed. The setup is placed on the kitchen table. So will there be warmth? Yes, there will be warmth. And this means that this setup has all the conditions needed for mold to grow. And in fact, with all the conditions needed for mold to grow present, 
In setup C, would you find the most mold or the least mold? You would find the most mold growing on the cake in setup C. Let's now take a look at option 4 to figure out whether the wild conditions are present here as well. This setup has the substance that absorbs moisture, which means there is water present here? No. What about oxygen? Remember, even with the lid to prevent air from entering, would oxygen be present in the container here? Yes, so oxygen is present as well. What about the last one, warmth? Look at where this setup is placed. The setup is placed in the refrigerator. And remember, we have mentioned earlier that the refrigerator is cold or warm? The refrigerator is cold. So this means that there is no warmth. And you would realize that setup D has only one out of the three conditions needed for mold to grow. So after examining all the options, can you tell me which is the best way to keep the slice of cake? Would it be the setup with all three conditions present? Or would it be the setup with the least conditions present? It would be the setup with the least conditions present. And this means that the answer will be option 4. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we are on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!